Because one way of dealing with allergies, <laughs> you've mentioned, is a neti pot. And you guys hadn't really heard of these before. No, I had not. No. Yeah, I have one at home and I use it occasionally. It's not the prettiest thing to watch. But, well, but we're going to watch works. it right now because <laughs> Drew has a guest who's going to put him through his first neti yeah. pot experience. Well, let me say I'm, I'm pleased to introduce to our audience Dr. Weiser. Uh, Dr. Weiser is with Providence. He is a naturopath. He's part of their naturopathic integrative medicine over there, the program. Right. Uh, like many of our, our hosts there, except for Ashley, I never heard of neti pot. In fact, when, when our producer Valerie said, you're going to do this segment uh, on neti pot, and I said, is that a person or a thing? <laughs> I thought maybe it was a person named neti. Uh, but this is a way to, to help with allergies during this time of the year, I'm told. This is a way to wash your nose and your sinuses. Don't you do that normally? You wash your nose and sinuses? No, you don't. No, so, I, I, well, I guess not. I, I, I take care of things in the shower, so to speak. A little different, To yeah. the disgust of my wife. <laughs> Hopefully the sun will come out <clears throat> yes. soon, and right. then allergens will be flooding the air. Yes. We breathe them in. Yes. So there's two ways to deal with this. Right. One is you can take medications to stop your body from curing. The cure is snot. Yeah. The cure is getting it out, sneezing, Don't sniffing. be afraid of the cure. Embrace it. You can't it. cure the cure. So what we can do is we can wash those allergens out of your nose and sinuses so your body doesn't have to react. Old-fashioned way, take some salt mm -hmm. and some warm water, put okay. it in there. I take the salt and I put it in the warm water. Yes. We know the water is warm and here yes. comes the salt. Okay, stir. do I stir? Yes. yes. Got it. If it's too hot, it'll hurt, it'll burn. <laughs> if it's too cold, it'll burn. If there isn't enough salt, it'll burn. So. Just nice. So you Little gotta be good at this in other You gotta words. be good. <laughs> then you pour it into there. That is the neti pot. Yeah. And you can also do it this way. Is it too. gonna spill, right? Uh, probably. I yeah. wish there was a. Yeah. Yes, it's going to spill. Okay, got it. <laughs> this is also a squisherator. You can squish it and then squeeze it that way. But this is the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. And then what you'd do is you would pick it up in your hand and mm -hmm. you would lean over and you would put it in one nostril, Wait. and it would go, oh, yes, it would. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I know that we're not going to watch all this because the viewers don't want to be uh, disgusted by what may come out it's of my nose. It's a little personal, But yeah. I can get it to this point, right? I can get it there. <laughs> And then you tilt your uh, no, head. They're so afraid, doctor. Look, they already went away. All I was doing, for goodness sakes, was putting the object to my nose. Nothing bad is happening here yet. I haven't tilted. No, no. But before I tilt. Yes. Rod, now we do have to go. Yes. Because they don't want to watch me tilt yes. on TV. So we have this allergy forecast. Yeah, this on. is a large graphic that covers up the entire TV screen. I'm very <laughs> pleased to tell you. Uh, you know, everybody knows this, I think, right? When it's cold and it's raining, um, allergy counts are usually down, and that was the case today. They were low. We are looking at ash and uh, um, alder and birch being predominant. Notice how the colors go from this morning's low color of green. They rise as we get into this warmer, drier weather going into next week. The pollen count will be going up. I believe it's now safe to come back to our regular program. It's yeah, safe because I didn't do it. Wait, what? Drew, what? Come Why on. would I do it? What? No one's going to watch. What? Let's for my see. own benefit. Yeah, go ahead. No. Go ahead. Kathy, no. I can't, I can't believe you, you didn't I do it. I walk into work and you tell me you're going to do a neti pot. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, let me ask Dr. Weiser, yes. how often should you use a neti pot if you have serious allergies? When the sun comes out and the allergens go crazy, morning and night. Sun is morning and night. Actually, yet. and I do have a question. I've heard yeah. you're supposed to like boil the water first to get it purified. Is that true? And mm, also, does it depend really. on the type you know, of salt? What's that? The salt. Does that matter? The type of salt? Uh, the salt doesn't really matter, but finer salt melts a little better. Okay. The thick, coarse salt sure. doesn't melt so good. The water, warm, any kind of water that's clean is fine. It can be tap water, though. can be tap. Oh. You, don't have, have you don't have to boil it. Okay. Good I question. have a question to the doctor, too. Yeah. Now, sometimes when you go to the doctor's yeah. office and he's treating you and you say, doctor, if you were in my shoes, what would you do for yourself? Doctor, would you do this live yes. on TV? Uh, 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 be honest, doctor. Oh, my God. Would hey, you do this live on TV? No, you wouldn't. For you, I'd do anything. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm not going to ask you to do that. <laughs>